Hello, and welcome to Synteny Explorer, a system for visualizing genomic evolution and Synteny block rearrangements. Synteny Explorer is designed to teach people about genome evolution and the preserved blocks of DNA that animal species share from extinct common ancestor species. The initial view is the phylo view, which shows a subset of the mammalian tree of life. Several species have been loaded and enabled here. Their icons are active. Our tree includes both extant species and ancestor species. These are extinct animals, but biologists have been able to recreate their genome in the syntenic relationships to some extant species. Users drag species into the right-hand sidebar. This displays some general information about the animal. When two species have been dropped into the sidebar, its mini tree is created. This enables going to the genome view. Here, users can click on chromosomes to see how they map to a downstream species. Clicking the arrow invokes a chromothripsis-like event, where all of the chromosomes rearrange at one time. In our development, we considered four different ways to animate this event. The first was an initial morphing, then sliding the chromosomes to their destination. The next was doing the slide, then rearrangement. Third was sliding and morphing at the same time. Finally, we implemented a cascading or staggered animation technique. Color is an important aspect of our application as it represents synteny blocks or preserved DNA. Color is consistent through all species, so the same color in one species that appears in another means it comes from the same original chromosome. We considered five different color palettes for showing a species genome. The first used a qualitative, brightly colored color map. The second used faded versions of this bright palette. Similarly, the third used grayscale versions of the bright color palette. The fourth used an HSV color palette based on color perception theory. Finally, we implemented the rainbow color palette found in the Synteny genome browser. In addition to showing genomic evolution through animation, we have implemented three additional techniques for a total of four views. The second view is static which connects Synteny mappings with colored strings. The third view is based on CIRCOS, a widely used genomic research technique. Chromosomes are arranged in arcs around a circle. Ribbons show the preserved Synteny blocks between species. The last view is based on another industry technique called Apollo. In the Apollo view, there is no interaction with chromosomes, since all links are already shown in its standard view. In a basic application flow, the user toggles between the phylo view and the genome view, loading animals into the sidebar and then viewing their genomic change. This leads to an exploratory workflow, as users try out new animals and examine their genomic mappings in relation to each other. This application represents an initial foray into teaching genomic evolution to novice, non-biologist users. To validate our system's functionality and design choices, we performed a set of three user studies. In one study, we evaluated how effective the color palettes were. The faded bright color schemes scored best for users as a combination of being able to correctly identify synteny mappings, how quickly they were able to do so, and what users' favorite overall palettes were. Similarly, we tested the different animation styles for genomic chromothripsis events. Here, users preferred the morph then slide and slide then morph styles. Finally, as a full-scale system evaluation, we performed a holistic study testing animation with the other three mappings, Static, Circus, and Apollo. While each view has its advantages and disadvantages, the two karyogram views were both shown to be more effective at introducing and teaching the concept of genomic evolution than were Circus and Apollo. Thanks for watching.